guys, you want to make an ant set up for cheap. You've got a queen ant, and you're like, right, I want to set up, but I don't want to buy one of those super expensive, like you can buy so much equipment online, and you can end up spending $200 pretty easily, and then you can always add on as the colony grows and expands. But here's a super cheap way to do it. Like, you just got one queen, and you're not really sure if you like want to invest too much money. Well, an easy way to do it is you just get your queen in your test tube, get a container like this from $2 shop, any dollar stores in your area, put some petroleum jelly on it, chuck it around the outside, and uh, yeah, you'll be golden. You won't be able to get out. Or you can always use baby powder and um, rubbing alcohol. Just mix those together and uh, kind of make the barrier on the outside. Just paint that on. And then you can always add more baby powder just onto the outside. And they they can't climb up the dry baby powder. Okay, so you just put your you just put your queen in there, and then you just add another tube. So I what I do is I get these big roll of tubing, cut it up, then, and then fill it with water, put a cotton wool in, put the queen in, put another piece of cotton wool, chuck it in the cupboard, come back six weeks later, there'll be baby ants in there, the nanitics, grab, grab it, put it in a thing, container, if you, you can chuck food in there, it's all easy access, like, you don't need special things to hold water, you just get a tube, cotton wool, boom. You can get coins, I just use little 10 cent coins, chuck food on it, a bit of honey, easy to clean, take it out, or you can use bits of tin foil, bits of paper, whatever. Super easy, super cheap, like all this equipment, it's only like 10 bucks at the local shop. You can get tubing from any plastic stores. Uh, that sell Tupperware and plastic shops, home stores. Alright, also a cheap way to make some food for your ants is peanut butter. Right, you can just feed ants straight peanut butter, honey as well, either of those just by themselves, ants will eat and uh, sugar you just make sugar water uh, put that in test tubes or just put that in a cap like upside down bottle cap or something something to hold it but what I'd normally do is get peanut butter mix like a little bit of that just like a teaspoon and chuck it in there in a little cup or something to mix it in some honey add that in there too using manuka honey but any old honey will work and add some sugar in there as well now the ants seem to really like this this um, it's got honey in which they eat straight up by themselves and um, the peanut butter is a real good source of like, protein and just nuts like fear species really seem to like this and you just mix it all up together with the sugar and um, yeah give it to your ants on like some tin foil or something and they'll eat it up it's easy cheap way to make ant food yeah it works pretty well for me you can also chuck in jam if you want just mix it up however you like, whatever ratios you want. You can make it mostly peanut butter or mostly honey. Doesn't matter, just play around with it, see what the ants like. With the, in terms of insects, I like to feed them insects that I catch. I don't buy any insects. And uh, there's crickets in there, flies, centipede. Cockroach, 
some spiders. I'd like to change it up for the ants. Give them new stuff, different things. And with the spiders and the flies, got to make sure that you don't have one of those spray automatic spray fly killers, or else you'll the you'll be putting toxins into your ants and you'll kill your ants. We don't have one of those, so our flies don't have any toxins in. So you just got to be aware of that. I like to chop up my flies so that the ants can easily get to the juices inside the flies. 